Warning, the information in this video is for educational purposes only. Never consume any wild plant without positive identification. Proceed at your own risk. Hi guys, and welcome to my series on the wild edible and medicinal plants of the southeastern United States. Today I will be talking about Passiflora incarnata. Passiflora incarnata, commonly known as maypop or purple passionflower, is a fast-growing, tendril-climbing perennial vine. Maypops have large, very distinct flowers. It is native to the southeastern United States and is cultivated for its fruits and beautiful bluish-purple blooms. The fruits contain many seeds, each surrounded by a specialized outgrowth, which holds its edible juice. The juice of the maypop is more than 22% vitamin C. The juice can be consumed fresh or used to flavor drinks, jellies, and jams. The stems can be smooth or slightly hairy. They are long and trailing with many tendrils. The leaves are alternate and palmate with three lobes, but sometimes you will find leaves with five lobes. The leaves measure between two and a half to six inches long, and bruised leaves smell like an old rubber shoe. Although the flowers are the main identifying feature for this plant, I have become familiar with its leaves and can identify it from a distance. Maypop flowers are the crown jewel of the plant. They are very distinct and have five bluish white petals with little white and purple filaments above the petals called a corona. The flowers are pollinated by bumblebees, carpenter bees, and other insects. The flower normally begins to bloom in July, and I find them as late as October in my area. If you have trouble identifying this plant by its leaves, the flower will leave no question. The fleshy fruit, also referred to as a maypop, is an oval-shaped green to yellowish berry about the size of a large chicken egg. It is green at first, but then becomes yellow, and the skin wrinkles as it ripens. Like other passifloras, it is the larval food of a number of butterfly and moth species. It is especially important for the Gulf fritillary. Its fruit is also very popular with wildlife, so there will be competition if you are foraging for it. And if you are going to be foraging for maypops, you will need to know where to find them. The maypop can be found in thickets, disturbed areas, near riverbanks, and near unmowed pastures, roadsides, and railroads. It thrives in areas with plentiful sunlight and likes well-drained, sandy soil. It is not shade tolerant. I often find it growing at the edges of woodlands, climbing the trees and other vegetation, but never in the woods under the canopy. The Cherokee in Tennessee called it Okoi. Passiflora incarnata is actually the Tennessee state wildflower, and the Okoi River and River Valley are named after the plant. For thousands of years, the maypop was a staple food and medicinal plant for the Cherokee. Historically, the leaves were cooked and used as a pot herb, and the fruits were eaten or used to make drinks. Also, the plant has been used as an herbal medicine to treat anxiety, insomnia, or hypertension. Passionflower is included in pharmacopias. The European and British pharmacopias use the dried aerial parts of the plant as a sedative. The leaves and stems of the plant are dried and used to make a tea or tincture to help with insomnia and anxiety. Anecdotally, I have used this plant this way and believe it does help with sleep. Whether that's placebo effect or not, I don't know. The flowers can be pickled and used for the same purpose. In North America and South America, tea made from the roots is used as a tonic. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration had formally approved the herb as an over-the-counter sleep aid or sedative. However, in 1978, the agency withdrew this approval because manufacturers didn't provide enough evidence that it worked. Today, passion flower is used as a natural flavoring agent in food manufacturing. Its fruits may be used for jams and jellies, the juice is used to flavor drinks, and it can be used as a fresh substitute for its commercially grown South American relative, Passiflora edulis, a related species with similar sized fruit, which is used to flavor Hawaiian punch. The fruit can be eaten out of hand and has a slightly sweet tart taste and a pleasant scent when fully ripe. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. If you find this kind of information useful, hit that like and subscribe button to help me continue making content. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one.
Thanks.